Hello, today we'll talk about pervasive computing versus cloud computing. What is the difference between them? Are these the same things? And what are the similarities if there are any? So, what is pervasive computing? Pervasive computing is the method of enhancing computer use by making many computers available throughout the physical environment but making them effectively invisible to the user. The scenario is about sending and receiving any data, through any network, using any device, at any time, and anywhere. Pervasive computing involves three converging areas of ICT, which are, computing, communications, and user interfaces. Many computers share each of us. Computing devices, are likely to assume many different forms and sizes, from handheld units, similar to mobile phones, to near invisible devices set into everyday objects, like furniture and clothing. Communications, connectivity, this can be achieved via both wired, such as broadband, ADSL, or Ethernet, and wireless networking technologies, such as Wi Fi or Bluetooth. User interfaces, new user interfaces are being developed that will be capable of sensing and supplying more information about users and the broader environment to the computer for processing. The application of pervasive computing can be in healthcare or home care, environment monitoring, and intelligent transport system. Okay, now let us move on to cloud computing. Cloud computing is a style of computing in which dynamically scalable and often virtualized resources are provided as a service over the Internet. In a cloud computing system, there's a significant workload shift. Local computers no longer have to do all the heavy lifting when it comes to running applications. User needs only to run its interface software, which can be as simple as a web browser, and the cloud's network takes care of the rest. Here are some characteristics of cloud computing, elasticity and scalability, expand and reduce resources according to your specific service requirement. Pay for use, pay for cloud services only when you use them. On demand, cloud services are invoked only when you need them. Resiliency, completely isolate the failure of server and storage resources from cloud users. Work is migrated to a different physical resource in the cloud with or without user awareness. Multi-tenancy, can host the cloud services for multiple users with different requirements within the same infrastructure. Workload movement. Cloud computing providers can migrate workloads across servers, both inside the data center, and across data centers. Let's talk about the cloud service model which consists of three layers, software as a service, Platform as a service, and infrastructure as a service. IaaS provide resources, such as servers, often in the form of virtual machines, network bandwidth, storage, and related tools necessary to build an application environment from scratch. In short, it is about hosting. PaaS provides a higher level environment, where developers can write customized applications. The maintenance, load balancing, and scale out of the platform are done by the service provider, then the developer can focus on his functions. Basically, PaaS is for developer level. SaaS refers to special purpose software made available through the internet. Therefore, it does not require each end user to manually download, install, configure, run, or use the software applications on their own computing environments. This service is generally used by end customers. As a summary for our comparison, pervasive computing refers to everyday objects becoming computing nodes. Loud computing refers to running applications on the internet rather than locally. Both of these concepts have been floating around for years as ideas, sometimes under different names. Pervasive computing is emerging, but not widely deployed. Cloud computing is something that is already put into practice, these concepts aren't directly related or particularly similar. Pervasive computing is about adding computing to everyday object and activities, 
cloud computing is about hosting services. Finally, let's discuss about their pros and corns. Pervasive computing enable us to make better decision by its outstanding data processing, but not as cost efficient and able to be managed like in cloud computing, both of them still have to improve in terms of reliability. As a conclusion, both have their respective pros and cons, one thing for sure is, they play important role in coming years technology. That's all for our pervasive computing versus cloud computing, and thanks for watching.